Oi, we are cooking here a chili, not a chili con carne, my own kind of chili, my own weird chili with a German word Butenfachschirtes. The English word is turkey mince, apparently. That's what Google Translate told me. Come on, Google Translate, don't fail me. No. That give me a second. Turkey mince. Turkey mince. I hope that's the right word. Merp, merp. <laughs> so, what? does that mean that means i cook everything up in here i've got vegetables i got the meat i'm gonna cook everything up for one to two hours start with the hard stuff the hard vegetables like carrots and then add the meat then the softer stuff over time yeah Two meals, right now this is my after workout meal and then I'm gonna cook the rest up in the evening as my evening meal. So what do we have here? Those vegetables gonna come in first. I'm gonna throw that in before I throw in the meat. Then after some time this one, the young onions maybe. <laughs> Tomatoes, that's ginger, then some chilies, and the last thing I'm gonna throw in is corn, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna throw in. No insects or worms this time, I promise. So, I'm gonna cut this into pieces and start cooking. So the hardest vegetables I have already cut into pieces. This gonna come next. First I'm gonna let those vegetables cook a little bit without oil, without oil first. So I've turned this up on a four. You can, it's something not that high. It's slow cooking, everything is slow cooking. I can feel a little bit heat already coming out. So I'm gonna throw in the vegetables and after hear them cook for five minutes or so I'm gonna throw in the oil then cut the zucchini in half and um, throw the zucchini in and then the meat. It's everything is slow cooking right with a chili so um, you can take it down normally and do things in between those cooking sets like workouts. It is cooking right now. I turned it down a little bit because I heard too much with cooking noises coming out. So I realized that it's a little bit too much hate already. God, that's why I'm doing German videos too, mostly with cooking because my vocabulary suffers too much by doing something like that. Yeah. Okay, five minutes later, I've got myself olive oil here. There are much is left. I'm guessing I'm gonna put a half of that in there right now to the vegetables, no meat yet. So it's covered up a little bit with oil. Yeah, half. I'm gonna show you in a second and later I'm gonna throw some soya sauce in there it's a salt reduced one 50 percent less salt because there's a lot of salt and soya sauce that's what i'm gonna throw in there sauce wise there i hope you can see that so it's a little bit covered and um, i'm gonna let it cook a little bit more like that and then throw in the meat Okay, I'm gonna throw in the meat. That's how it looks close up. 
it's made. Whoop. Make sure to not get any hot oil on your hands. Stir it around a little bit. Not too much. You can stir as much as you want to. tasty not very professional <laughs> okay and I'm gonna let it cook a little so I'll let it cook a little bit stir it around that's how it looks right now now I'm gonna throw in some of the other vegetables we got chilies here too I'm gonna have to throw in some extra chilies that won't be enough. Those are Thai chilies that I got from Thai cleaning ladies. She told me they are not hot, they are not spicy and I immediately regretted it by biting into one. That's the story and that's how it always goes. And then she bit it into them herself and realized they are spicy. She told me they are not hot. They are not spicy and I immediately regretted it by biting into one. That's the story. And that's how it always goes. And then she bit it into them herself and realized they are spicy. So two of those would be enough for me. You need to experiment yourself with your spiciness. You either have chilies in full, chilies in full or what I also have are uh, something like that those chilies I've got something like that there are also chilies in there yeah and spices are gonna come later due the most important tip I can give you is always Wash your hands after working with chilies, after cutting them, everything that's spicy. Wash your hands for a long time with great purpose and intent to get them clean. Because when you cut chilies and put your finger next to your eyes or in your eyes and uh, wish around in your face, you will feel a pain that you probably never have felt before. You will Google panically if you have to if you're going blind because of it because it burns that much so god damn it wash your hands now i'm gonna throw in some soya sauce a little bit on top with a little bit that's actually not that less it's a lot it was actually a lot i feel like and i'm gonna let that cook now with soya sauce for 30 minutes then I'm gonna stir it in the meantime a lot around throw in throw on to that that thing the deckle the only thing that's missing right now is corn the onions and some spices which I'm gonna add later somewhere in the meantime
so we are finished here this is how it looks like that's my portion for now the other one is for later let's see if i can get a better light here where is my flashlight from my phone i don't know maybe you see it better okay there is just one last thing i need to do to give it a flavor extreme explosion because it's spicy as hell already time to give it the last upgrade that you can give your food where is it oh there we go oh yes Some pineapples there, yeah, all the way in there. Mm. Now we got a good chili for ourselves. Now it's done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my chili, my tat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You gotta taste it first. It's amazing. <laughs>